If you use Dungeon Draft to make your own RPG maps, you'll maybe want to pack your own custom assets to import into the software. There are different ways to do it, but I will show you the easiest and most reliable one. Please note that this is a very short tutorial covering only the basics of asset packing. First of all, you'll need to download 8-bit's Dungeon Draft tool from GitHub, the link is in the description. To download it, click on Code, then Download Zip, then extract it and install it. For this example, I will use these assets from White Fox Works. All her works are available for Dungeon Draft through her Discord if you're a Patreon subscriber. The assets need to be either in PNG or in WebP, and their name should not contain symbols or accents, be very careful with that. A meaningful name will help you find them with Dungeon Draft's search bar. If you need to use Dungeon Draft's grid, be sure your assets are in 256 ppi. That means a 256 by 256 pixel asset will take a whole grid square in Dungeon Draft. To begin the packing process, you'll need to create a precise folder structure in your explorer. Create a first folder, which will have the name of the pack, let's say Test Pack. Inside, make a Texture folder, and inside, an Objects folder. Make sure you name these two folders exactly like I did, no capital letter, and with an S at the end, this is very important. If you fail to do so, the tool won't be able to pack it. Within the Texture Objects path, you can organize your assets into subfolders. For instance, we can make the following subfolders. Test Pack Textures Objects Cauldrons Test Pack Textures Objects Furniture Test Pack Textures Objects Treasure Never use symbols or accents in your custom folder names or the pack won't be usable. The Tag Assets tool will use these subfolders as your tags. If you don't need tags, just put everything into the Objects folder. For the previous example, your tags will be Cauldrons, Furniture and Treasure. Any files within those folders will be assigned to those tags, respectively. You can also make subfolders inside them to add even more precise tags. If you have a preview image of the pack, put it directly in the test pack folder. It needs to be in PNG and named Preview in lowercase. Best size is around 300 by 300 pixels. Once this is done, open 8-bits tool and click on Tag Assets in the main menu. Select a source folder, which will be where the test pack folder is. For me, the folder is on my G drive, in a folder named Asset Packing, so the path will be G Asset Packing. You should see your folder in the box below. You can choose to add a default tag to all your assets, or just use the folder structure, which will be my case. Select the pack, click on Start, then click OK in the pop-up window. Then go to the main menu again and choose Pack Assets. Set the same source folder as we did for the tag tool and choose a destination folder. Here I am choosing the same one for convenience issues, but it's usually better to have a dedicated folder for all your packs. Select your pack in the list. You can change its name and add the author if you want. Then click on Start and once it's done, click on OK. The pack is now created and you just need to tell Dungeon Draft where it is by clicking on the diamond icon and choosing the right folder. The pack will not appear in the Explorer window, but that's totally fine. That's just the way it works. Don't forget to enable it in the list. And we are done! Your assets are now in Dungeon Draft. Congratulations! If you want to update the pack, just add what you need in the folders you created and pack it again. Check Overwrite files if you use the same destination folder, otherwise your new pack won't be created. If you change the pack's name in the tool, for example by adding a number to it, its ID will change after the update, which means it will be seen as a different pack by Dungeon Draft, so be careful. To keep the same ID with another name, you need to modify it before using the tool, directly on the JSON file that the tool created within the pack folder. Use a text editor to open it 
and change the name and the version number. Don't forget to save the file. And now you can pack it again. Make sure you delete the old version so Dungeon Draft can only see the newest one. Be careful, it won't work if you place the old one in a subfolder. As I said in the intro, this was a very quick tutorial on how to use the tool, but there is a lot more to explain about packing in general. For example, if you need to make path, walls, roofs, colobo assets, patterns, terrains, and so on. There are some good resources online, I'll put some links in the description. If you want to learn more about the tool, there's a very nice PDF documentation that comes with it. On a side note, 8 bits has also another tool which is dedicated to tagging. You'll find a link in the description. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any question, feel free to ask in the comments.